This summer, you can see a special traveling exhibit from Magnus Nilsson at the American Swedish Institute. A celebrity Swedish chef and now a famed photographer has brought Magnus Nilsson's Nordic, a photographic essay of landscapes, food, and people. So for three years, he traveled around Sweden, Denmark, the Faroe Islands, Finland, Greenland, Iceland, Norway. A lot of people forget the Faroe Islands when they're thinking about the Nordic cuisine, but uh, not Magnus. The Nordic cookbook was the research project, and he took 8,000 photos along the way of people he met, places he visited, the food he ate. And so now he's launching this photographic exhibit at the American Swedish Institute. Absolutely beautiful, and we are so glad that he's come by to make us uh, a chat with us. Thank you so I'm much for here. joining us, Thank Magnus. Thank you for having me. So, okay. Chef, can we talk about your background first yeah, as a sure. chef? Because some folks here maybe don't know about it. You're 32 now, right? Yep. And your restaurant, uh, Favikin, had just received two Michelin stars, which yes. is like rock star status. Mm -hmm. You have just 24 seats. Yes. What it's kind quite of small. Describe the cuisine. Well, it's like, I think for us, it's all about reflecting the uh, culture, the history, and the produce of our region through a sort of contemporary restaurant filter. Um, so that's really what we do. Okay, mm. uh, so I have to say, uh, I'm myself Swedish, but I don't know if I could really describe Swedish food. You I know, know there's there's a little bit of this, right? But you have a, a cookbook here with 700 pages of recipes. Yeah, so uh, the reason why I wanted to do this sort of big cookbook project, which is totally documentary, is because I think that Nordic cooking is probably the most misunderstood food culture in the world. Huh. No one really knows what it is. Like you have the herrings and the gravlaxes and those right. things. And then people know very little beyond that. Uh, Swedish meatballs, and that's yeah, all. Yeah, but there's so yeah. much more, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's not a homogenous food culture either. It's very varied from one end to another. It's a huge geographical area from Greenland to Finland, you know. And, and, and that's what's fascinating about your cookbook project, right? You kind of approach this very much like a journalist trying to go out and discover yeah, discover this cuisine. Yeah. So there's not a single recipe in there that's mine. It's all documentary. It's all you know recipes that have been collected in people's homes. Tell us about um, this photo right here. Uh, yeah, so that photo is. Um, what now? Well, we got a different one. <laughs> so these are reindeer. We got reindeer. Um, uh, yeah, uh, and this is this is taken close to the North Cape in northern Norway. And so these are photos that you took along the way as you yeah. were collecting well, you're these people. regions. Yeah, and it was really like these a documentary recipes. device to produce content for the book. And then, you know, people liked the photos, responded well <laughs> to them, and it turned into the exhibition. <laughs> so, I mean, you are really, I mean, looking at your photos, you're, you're a master of two arts. You're a chef, but you're also this beautiful photographer. I think you're taking, a, like, a huge quantity of photos, <laughs> and a few of them turned out really oh, good. Oh, come on yeah. now. You're too humble. Now, how long have you been taking photos? Um, I got my first camera when I was about six years old, and it was a, a Kodak Instamatic with sure. the flash cube yeah, on top. Yeah. Do you find any similarities, though, between the two arts? I think the, the, the similarity, like the, the, the process, Process-wise, there's not that much similarity, I think. Uh -huh. uh, but in the way it's uh, like what you can use it for, it's a device to um, basically transmit information to people. Um, you know, uh, to, to give them something that they can perceive and thereby learn about mm. uh, food culture, for example. And that's uh, a common denominator for both photography and food to eat. There is something sensory that happens yeah, yeah, when definitely. you view a beautiful yeah. piece of art. And the same is true when you yeah. enjoy a beautiful you know, plate. Because that's often what happens. You have a tasty meal and, you know, it, it brings you into the mood of kind of trying to understand more about where it came from and what it was. And it's the same with the photo as well. If there's something that intrigues you, you might want mm. to kind of discover more about it. Well, we have information if you're interested in learning more. Magnus Nielsen's Nordic a ph photographic essay of landscapes, food, and people will be at the American Swedish Institute in Minneapolis tomorrow through August 14th. There are several opening week events starting tonight through Saturday that Magnus will attend. You can find out more about those events at WCCO.com slash links. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. If you had to pick one, chef or artist, what would it be? I think I'll continue being a chef. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs>